Welcome to the screening of the work completed in Taylor's Film Camp. This will be the fifth annual. We are so excited to show you the final results of the week. And we have not seen them all. So the faculty have only seen the work that their team did. So this is just as much fun for uh, us as it is for you. The students, for the most part, have only seen the project that they worked on, haven't seen the other three. So just to give you some context, um, Taylor's Film and Media Production Program teaches lots of different kinds of visual storytelling. We do production for businesses, promotional informational client kind of work. We do documentary filmmaking, telling real people's stories. We do television studio production and the kind of filmmaking that you'll see today, which is fiction film, where you write an original script, cast actors, shoot and edit, and then voila. So fiction film is an amazing art form. It does normally take a crazy amount of time. And one week is a nutty timeline to make a film. So we are incredibly, uh, incredibly proud of the work that they've created even under these time constraints. But, so they wrote the film by the end of Monday, really, and, and finished it up Tuesday morning. They refined it on uh, Tuesday. They shot on Wednesday and Thursday, and they've been editing Thursday and Friday until mm, some of them an hour ago. So um, after we show each film, and they're in the five to seven minute range, something like that. We'll bring the whole team up for a classic Q&A, question and answer, so you can ask the team what you'd like to know about their experiences and give them a chance to answer your questions. But can I first open with a word of prayer? So bow with me. Lord, thank you for giving these uh, high school students the creativity to take on amazing work like this. We know that you are the giver of creativity and you are the original inspirer. In the beginning, God created. It's the first verb we hear of your action. And so we thank you and we offer up these uh, projects in honor of you and we pray that they'll be pleasing to you. Amen. All right, one announcement, please silence your phones and avoid using them when the lights are low. The first film this afternoon comes from the green team. <laughs> also known as Starlight Studios, headed by Taylor Jr. Jack Fowser as producer. And there we go. And faculty member Steve Bailey as executive producer. Green, green team, stand up. Stand up so everybody knows. Make sure your parents yeah. know. Woo! There we go. All right. Here we go. The film is called Watchful. A timid college grad becomes suspicious that the world is watching his every move. But when he seeks help, he unearths a dark truth. Here is Watchful. All right, heading out. Uh, see you later then. Oh, uh, wait, are we still planning to hang out this weekend? Yeah, do you wanna, you know, go golfing on Sunday? Maybe like three? Yeah, sounds good to me. See you then. All right, see ya.
Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, what's going on, man? I saw your text. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Um, so I know this might sound crazy, but, uh, I swear I'm being watched. Hold on, you're being watched? I don't know, I, I was at the park earlier, and I swear I saw people watching me and recording me, and I don't know, it just can't be a coincidence. Okay. How many times has this happened? I don't know, like, a lot. Why would anyone want to watch you? No offense. Look, I already covered the cameras on my laptop and my phone. Do you think there might be any more in my apartment? I wouldn't worry about it. I don't think so. But if it makes you feel better, I can go check for you. I didn't see anything, no cameras, nothing out of the ordinary, so you don't have to worry about it, but just let me know if you need any more help, okay? Okay, I will. All right. Thanks. I know I'm the one that lost it. I know. What else do you want me to do? I already searched his apartment. Fine, fine, I'll do it again. No, he obviously doesn't know. I will call you back. Who is that? Oh, uh, hey, uh, I was just talking to, uh, to John. I thought maybe he would want to come golfing with us Sunday again. We, we wanted to do that again, right? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, see you then. See you. Three, Sunday. Breaking news, a dangerous organization has been exposed to the public by a courageous hero who has chosen to stay anonymous. Police are now investigating, so stay tuned for more details to come. I'm your host, Jack Fowler, and remember, stay watchful. Do you have some questions for this team? What do you want to know about Watchful? Yes? Where does the inspiration come from? Writers. Writers. Writers? 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 
You want me? You. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so really, this all originated from like a single idea one of our team members had about like someone going about his normal life, being watched, and then um, really for the next day or so, we kind of just planned and started throwing things in there and being like, what if we did this? And what if it was like, what if it was like some terrorist organization or something? Or what if it was, what if he was actually a bad guy and the person, the, the people watching him was the FBI? That was actually our plot line for a while. Um, but really, it all just came from a single idea and it became so much more. And it was, it was great. Another question. What was your favorite scene that you shot together, was the question. Um, that is a tough one. Probably, at least my favorite scene was all of us working together on the final scene where he is searching through the computer and, um, and he finally goes back and forth between sending it or deleting the email and it cuts to black and then you hear the click, and then it goes to the new news broadcast by good old Jack Fowser. <laughs> that, that's my favorite scene, at least. Uh, my favorite scene was the park scene. I liked uh, all the Braden the, with the camera, uh, uh, like videoing uh, Luke or George. And, yeah, that was my favorite scene. <laughs> Great. Is there another question? Yes, at the back. Uh, how late did you guys stay up editing last night? <laughs> <laughs> so we probably, let's see, when did we get, when did I get in there? Probably like 5.15, and we left at 3 in the morning. Yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah. Oof. So probably. So sleep in the car on the way home. <laughs> so at this morning, probably like 11 hours editing. Yes, another question right here. So we found out what your favorite scene was. What was the most difficult scene? Ah, what was the most difficult scene was the question. Yeah, probably our first scene. So uh, the office scene was tough just because there was so much we had to get perfect, like the, the slam of the file on the, on the desk and having the USB uh, jump over the other one and then not having to be able to, uh, when Clint or uh, Ethan picks up the USB, he has to pick up the wrong one. We had to get that in one take because uh, if the USB moved, it kind of ruined the continuity at least. So it just, a lot of precision needed to go into that, that scene. We have time for one more question. So uh, we actually filmed that in our editing room. So we, uh, <laughs> we had me sitting in the chair, and then we just got YouTube videos of security camera footage. And uh, there, thankfully, there was already a, a phone in there. So we just we used that one. And uh, just it was great camera work by, by our uh, camera cameraman and director. <laughs> uh, he did a great job. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> We're going to say you all did a great job. Give him a congratulations. <laughs> Our second film today was made by the Yellow Team. Woo! Woo -hoo! Uh, AKA Golden Hour Studios, and this is the team that I was on, and it was led by Taylor Senior Ethan Koppel. Yeah. In, yeah. Why don't you stand, yellow team, show them who you are. Ooh. There we are. The film is called Triathcar. In Triathcar, two brothers longing to see their sister 
try to win a car in a race in order to go see her. Try off car. Hey sis, how have you been? No, yeah, me and Emil have been good too. And how about dad? Oh, okay, well, I guess that's not surprising. Anyway, I wanted to give you a call to let you know. I mean, I saw an ad for a triathlon earlier today and the grand prize is, get this, the grand prize is a car. Yeah, a literal car. I know, so I figured if maybe, you know, I was able to compete in it and win, we could finally come and see you. What do you mean? Of course I can. I've got this. Anyway, I'm going to go train for now, and I'll call you later, okay? All right, it was good to talk to you. Bye. Are you really not going to help train with me? No. What are you going to do, sit around and play video games all day? Okay, then? look, I'm my high school subway surfer, so I would not expect you to understand. Alright, whatever. I'm off to go train. Wow. Yeah, this is the worst day ever. Why? Because you tore your ACL? No, because it's a little humid outside. Yes, because I tore my ACL! Well, what are we gonna do? Oh, I don't even know. I mean, I can't run or swim or bike or... I can't do anything on this leg. I mean... Uh, I could do it. No, no. You? No, no. You cannot do it. You can't do any physical activity. But... This is the only way that we can see our sister. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right, but you have got to promise me that you will put your all into this, okay? I'm serious. Deal. What are you doing? I gotta get hyped up for your workout. Okay, well, done with the hyping up. It's time that you get a lot better at swimming, at running, at biking. I mean, basically everything, if we're being honest. And it is going to take a lot of... Dude! Oh, I'm tired. Okay, well, how about you suck it up and get running three laps around the block, all right? That'll be a good start. You all right? Honestly, no. Is it about? Yeah, it is. I don't know, man. She was my best friend, and I thought, you know, if I could win the triathlon, we could... But we know. will win. I've been working hard, and I'm pretty sure I'm a master at sports now. Uh, yeah, you've been working hard, so for sure. So get up and cheer me on tomorrow, because I'm telling you, Kirsten wants to see us as much as we want to see her. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, oh. Ah! Who are you rooting for? Oh, um, I'm rooting for my brother over there. He's the one in the blue, yeah, the... The one who just uh, fell over. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Sorry. That's my daughter. She won this race last year. Oh, is she? Yeah, I can I can see she takes after you for sure. Oh. 
Absolutely not. We gotta get to the end of the race. Oh, we gotta get to the end of the what? race. Hurry up. What do you mean oh. we? Oh gosh. Oh, come on. You know, I really missed you for the longest time. I really missed you too. So, how did Emil win a triathlon? Oh, well, it's actually a bit of a funny story. So, the girl in first, she uh, she actually tripped on her shoelace, which may or may not have been because I uh, untied it. Wait, what? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know it was wrong, but like, I mean, come on. Have you seen Emil run or swim or do anything? I mean, not really. He doesn't do much of anything anyway, but you guys still cheated. I know, I know. I just, I really wanted to see you again. Well, promise me you guys will give the car back to make it up to them. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you're probably right, but I mean, at least Emil did have his moment, even if it was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have been there to see it. Yellow team. Do I have some questions for this group? Yes, in the back. Um, so the, the tripping scene, that seemed pretty violent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason we got such great sound for that scene. <laughs> We'll just go that far. <laughs> Multiple members of this team required band-aids this week, so. That's what happens when you put physical activity into a movie that is being shot in a week. <laughs> Other questions? Yes. What was your favorite part of the process is the question? Probably the script writing because we, as three writers, we wrote our own individual scripts and we combined them. And looking at the individual scripts and seeing how different they were, but still hilarious to read on paper, was pretty great. Besides the red camera, what was the most, uh, most enjoyable tool to use? Um, I guess it was pretty exciting to get to use the Sony FS5. We used to shoot that and play around with the lens and color correction on site. It's pretty exciting to learn how to do that. <laughs> Any other questions? How cold was the water? <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> it was. Uh, originally, we were going to shoot that Wednesday morning, but it was way too cold. Luckily, it did get warm enough to we, where we could shoot in the lake. Uh, yeah, but it was uh, still freezing, and I'm glad we got that done on Wednesday instead of like doing reshoots, which don't get me started on those either. <laughs> we have time for another one. What was your inspiration for this? So originally, when we were writing pitch ideas. Uh, we were going to make a drama, and that involved a girl on the swim team. And we kind of realized that what we were going for wasn't lighthearted and fun, that we 
that would get people laughing, which was what we wanted. So we moved on to the more extensive idea of a triathlon that had the connections with the brothers and the sister. Great, anything else out there? Nope. Along the way, it did kind of become just like an Adam Sandler comedy, um, <laughs> which I'm not sure how well that turned out, but <laughs> hopefully you guys all liked it. Let's congratulate the yellow team. Our third film this afternoon comes to the blue team, otherwise known as Electric Tide Productions. And that one's led by Taylor Sr., Hannah Johnson as producer, and faculty member Lincoln Reed as executive producer. Let's have the blue team stand. In The Great Escape, a lackluster student bombs a test and must change his grade, but learns through a friend and teacher that truth is not negotiable. The Great Escape. Here are your tests. Don't worry about handing them in right now. I will collect them after class. And I'll enter them into the system tomorrow morning. That test went terribly. It's your turn. I really needed a good grade on that. My parents are gonna kill me. Stop stressing. You never cared about grades before, and this was just a test. Maybe for you, but that was my last chance to get that scholarship. I can't believe I bombed it that badly. You're right. I should have been more understanding. Well, enough about me. How'd you do? It was okay. Okay? Come on, Amy, it's you. It was fine. Can you play your cards? I have to go. Alright. I will see you at the basketball game later. And, um, by the way, I win. Uh, what am I gonna do? Wait a minute. Uh, that's it! Locked. Oh, hold not push. I'm in. The coast is clear, and there's nobody in sight since he's a janitor. So Miss Johnson's room is on the left, right? Yeah, right, no, left. Lucas, you've done it again. 
Now where are those tests? Okay, test, test, test. Oh, where is it? Okay, under the keyboard. Uh, no, uh, bottom of the keyboard? No, uh, okay, that's it. Uh, uh, ooh, money! Yeah, need that for the next poker game. Okay, uh, no, not there. Uh, clipboard, yeah, uh, okay, let, oh, yeah, okay, let's see, John, it's not it, Anna, yes! Amy? She lied? Uh, figures, she's good at everything. Okay, it's done. It's time to get out of here. Hey, Lucas! Oh, Miss Johnson! Hi, hey, what are you doing here so late? <laughs> Uh-oh, funny story. Uh, my friend, you know, Amy from class, right? Yeah, uh, she had said that I had left my backpack in the... bathroom. Mm. Mm hmm Well, did you find it? No, no, no. She must have been lying. Oh. Ah, oh, well, I hate when that happens. But remember, whatever your other friends say or do, it's important to always stick to the truth. Anyways, I got a meeting. Yeah, I uh, ran into Miss Johnson. She had me clean gum off the desks. Oh, well that's gross. But did you at least ask her about the test? Uh, uh, no, I uh, chickened out. Oh, well, next time you should ask her. Then we can study together. What questions did you have for Blue? Somebody take that. What was your inspiration? Well, I mean, we started with uh, two script ideas, and one was more comedic based, and one was more drama based. And we kind of uh, talked as a team and found the parts and elements that we liked from each and combined them. And then it was fun to see throughout the process how that inspiration led through as each team member gave their vision uh, and contributed their part. Another question. Yes, at the back. What was the funniest moment on set? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Oh, my turn. OK. <laughs> all right, so I'm sure you all saw the part where um, he ran into the door. Well, there was an alternative take of that. It was actually our first take. Where, um, you know who Tom Cruise is, right, everyone? <laughs> he has this iconic thing where he likes to like, run in this very specific way in every movie. Well, uh, I decided to do a full-on Tom Cruise sprint at the door. And um, 
you know, I, Looney Tunes smacked into it. I think I got some airtime as well. I like clung to the door for a second. Um, unfortunately, it that was a hard hit, like really hard. Yeah, it was <laughs> very loud from inside. Um, but unfortunately, it was cut for uh, you know circumstances beyond my control. So <laughs> otherwise known as creative differences. <laughs> <laughs> so another question out there. Yes. Hmm, probably, I think we all really liked the montage, um, the first one where he was changing, because um, there was like so many takes where we couldn't use it because people were just laughing so hard behind the camera, because it was, it was funny. We have time for one more. Yes, right here. Well, I had the very important job of holding the boom mic, which has its moments, but it's a lot of fun, and it was really fun to just kind of learn how much goes into just the whole filmmaking process, how many different parts there are. So for me, I learned a ton of stuff. I was audio and PA, which basically meant during filming, I held the boom mic, and during editing, I sat around and made everyone laugh and bought tacos. Uh, but, what? Oh yeah, voiceover, I did that too, that was fun. Uh, but yeah, I would just say learning literally everything was just the best part of it. Thank you so much. Congratulate them. And our fourth and final film comes from the Red Team, otherwise known as Medium Rare Productions. That one's led by Taylor Senior Aiden Merck and faculty member and executive producer John Bruner. Session. Following an attack, both the victim and the assailant independently seek counseling to address their emotions arising from the incident. This is Sessions. Come on in, Dan. So, tell me what happened, Mr. Dan. Uh, it was horrifying. Um, I was walking back to my dorm at like uh, midnight. Um, a normal time for me to be going back on a Friday night. Uh, I thought I heard a noise behind me, but uh, I thought it was nothing, so I kept going. But then, he was behind me. Who? The cow man. This is good. Keep talking. I have a great picture of your mental state. Due to the fact that you turned away from your dorm instead of running towards it. I was scared. Really scared. Besides, uh, I didn't get very far before he uh, caught me. First I was freaked out, but now I just want to get revenge at that blundering bovine. I still have his mask. I understand your vengeful feelings. Well, thanks, Doc. I mean, I would react the same if I got uh, rolled by a farm animal. Yeah, well, thanks, Doc. Hey, wait! But uh, revenge on this milk menace will get you nowhere. The best thing you can do is forgive him and replace your wallet so you can pay for this session. All right. 
Thanks, Doc. I'll think about it. Uh, you do Apple Pay? That's the right attitude. You'll get over it, I promise. And I don't, but you can just slide your Venmo on the way out. All right, Doc. Uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, one more thing. Uh, bring the mask for our next session, Thursday at noon. It'll be good to talk about. Oh, and remember to pay me. Come on in. So, what happened, Mr. Stan? Well, sir, last night I, I screwed up. I'm down on my luck, I needed rent money. This guy came along, I put on a cow mask, one thing led to another and... All right, you got this. You got this, let's do it. Let's get it done. So sorry to interrupt, but why the cow mask? Because I got beef with everybody. Okay. Great to know. Continue. All right, well, he was kind of far ahead of me. Had to chase him down. But then he turned around. Had no choice but to make my move. He must have put up quite a struggle. What happened in the end? Well, when he got my mask off, I may have... panicked. So you punched him. Okay. I see. I, I just feel so guilty. Bring the wallet to our next therapy session. Uh, Thursday at noon. You want some lunch? Sure, but you're buying. Ha! You want burgers? I'm vegetarian. Medium Rare Productions! <laughs> what questions do we have for this team? Right here in the front. Um, so how did you guys actually come up with this? <laughs> so we had the idea, Judah gave us the idea to include a therapist. In our, in our films. So then I had the idea to have what kind of moral problems could arise when a therapist counsels both a victim of a mugging as well as the mugger. And we had a cow mask. <laughs> and we had a cow mask. So. We did ask them to bring a prop or a costume in, in case that would provide some inspiration. So that worked in some cases. Another question? 
Yes, in the front. I'm sure there were a lot of funny takes, but what was the funniest? What was the funniest take? <laughs> there was a funny moment where like um, he like stuttered in a really goofy way it was funny and that was one of many there were many funny takes but that was probably the funniest one that had the best reaction also the moment when the cow guy comes out of the shadows and the music picks up that was both very frightening and very hilarious to film <laughs> you should have seen it from the editing room it was, it was glorious <laughs> You had a question right here. Yeah, you filmed a lot at night. Was that a challenge during the day? Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge. Um, we had to set up lighting uh, outdoors because the camera wouldn't pick up uh, everybody outside. And um, there was, uh, since the, a lot of the shots were so wide outside, we had to hide those, hide those lights and stuff, and that was kind of difficult. Yeah, we, and yes, uh, we also, another difficulty that came with filming at night was that we had to start at like 9.30. Uh, so we got home at, or home, we got back at the dorms at like 11.30 that night. And how late did you have it last night? Uh, it wasn't actually, it wasn't that bad compared to everybody else. Uh, uh, 12 or one o'clock is when we got back. Nice, is there another question out there? Yes. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, um, me and Andrew, we did, we did the music, uh, he found the first piece that plays, and I thought that was really, really, really fitting, um, I think we both enjoy music outside of, outside of movies as well, so that was helpful in picking soundtrack. And we have time for one more, did you have one? What was your most satisfying shot? Most satisfying oh. shot. The, the, I would, yeah, I would say definitely the most satisfying shot was getting out of the alley or the side, the side shot in the therapist's office. Those are really satisfying. Tech, this is technically two shots, but the glasses, that was... Aiden messed up in, on one of the takes <laughs> and took off the glasses with both hands. Um, for me, uh, I did, I uh, recorded the audio um, for them, and for me the most satisfying shot was we had this really difficult shot where they were walking out of the building, and I had to follow along, like with this, I had the boom mic like fully extended, and I had to follow along, and it was very heavy, and uh, it was very difficult. And then uh, Ben was our cinematographer, we finally got it, like perfect, it was amazing, and we all started celebrating, and then... Um, ben goes, wait, it's still recording. And uh, he actually didn't record the shot we got. That was uh, <laughs> perfect. So that was, um, yeah, that was, but when we finally, uh, we finally did get the shot again, and that was super satisfying to be just done. That was our last shot, so it was very satisfying to be done. Let's congratulate this team. <laughs> Well, weren't they an amazing group of films? Yes. <laughs> that was a week of great fun and also a great introduction to Taylor's Film and Media Arts program. And of course, we would be remiss if we didn't say that if you end up making college visits this year, please consider coming back to see us again. And if your student is interested in studying film and media arts, we would love for them to come back and uh, come to a 24 at Taylor, one of our um, regular events, or to the Envision Film Festival, which is our highlight of the year, kind of our Academy Awards, which is in March. And there's some extra incentive for people to come back because we have a high school competition that's part of that. And so if you would write an original screenplay or shoot a film with friends, whether they're interested in Taylor or not, if you submit those by the end of January, the first, second, and third place winners in those competitions wins additional scholarship funds if they come to Taylor. So we're going to... Um, put up here, I'm not, most of your students are not into social media at the moment, so we congratulate you parents, but <laughs> if, you, 
if, uh, if you are interested in social, you can follow us on Facebook at Taylor University Film and Media Arts or on Instagram at, at Taylor Film Media. And we do post at least once a week about cool things that are happening in our program. So that's a good way for you to stay connected if you'd like to during the year. And so uh, just a few announcements as we conclude. There are still signed posters that everyone has signed. Those are in the Rupp building outside the Mac Lab. And so if you wanted one, please grab it outside the Mac Lab, and we won't be mailing them out. So this is your chance to pick one up and take it with you. There, we also noticed there are a few Bibles and some backpacks. Some of your personal items are still over in RUP in the edit suites and in the classroom. So if you would check those spaces before you leave campus, that would be helpful to us. And as we conclude, We'll invite you to the lobby where you'll have a chance to take photos with your student and their team. You will find them near their film poster. And we would say, on behalf of the faculty and our student leaders, thank you for sharing your sons and daughters with us this week. It's been a blessing. Thank you so much for coming.